Hey everybody, welcome back to the 1RC YouTube channel. Today we're going to have a quick rip with Project What the Front Wheel Drive. I think we finally got the stuttering issue sorted out. It was just speed control. That 80 amp cheapo Amazon speed control just couldn't handle the amount of power we were demanding from it. So we've got a new Hobbywing 10BL 120 in there. It's the same one that we have in our DR10 and our other rear wheel drive project. So we're out enjoying the sounds of nature and uh, see how the car does today. It's a rather warm day today. Uh, <laughs> our ambient today is about 88 right now. So should have some good sticky asphalt to play with. Okay, beginning with uh, the launch procedure, We've got the third channel switch here on our FlySky FSG, or no, God, this is the RC4G from Radiolink. Wow, it's been a long day. So you got the third channel switch here. You can hear locks in the rear axle. Do a nice rolling burn out there. But again, no stuttering, no issues, so. All right, let's see how it does on this nice unprepared but warm surface. <laughs> This is with the Proline Big Daddies. Um, seem to be doing pretty well. The body might be a little bit low. I hear it scraping on the ground just a little bit, but uh, otherwise it's working out pretty well. I think we're running around a 1654 pinion spur combo. We may need to go up a little bit. It seems like it's it's got way too much low end and nowhere near enough top end. We had geared it down due to motor heat issues with the old speed control. But with the new setup, it seems to be faring a little bit better. Nice shot of it coming here at us. <laughs> but that has been the beauty of front wheel drive with this car. It launches straight every time. Uh, the hot racing lock, uh, differential locker that's in there really seems to help. Uh, the car doesn't pull from one side to the other. Both tires grow at the same rate. So, again, I keep forgetting to put glasses on. I'm just going by the sound of the car at this point. <laughs> so. But it does seem like the launches are getting a little bit more consistent, a little bit stronger every time. I guess the tires are warming up, but you can see the, it does kind of hold itself into place there. Worked a lot better with the Hoosiers. Uh, these big daddies have a significant increase in traction over the the Hoosiers that were on the car. Didn't quite get that one lined up. Up next will probably be some radio tuning. I need to turn the steering EPA down, set the travel a little bit shallower. I mean, this thing has way too much steering angle for a drag car. Um, 
car is set at one degree of toe in in the front, zero degrees toe in the rear, zero camber all the way around. Um, Want to get the maximum amount of contact patch out of those big daddies. And as soon as I say that, it starts pulling to the left. I wonder if something has gone askew with the wheelie bar. Check. No, both wheels are still on. Um, strangely enough, the wheelie bar does affect this car a significant amount. Um, it does keep the front end planted somewhat better than running without one. Let me get my foot on this. Do a little, got a little better burnout, a little more heat in the tires there. See if we can get a little better launch. Dead left. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if we don't have a servo going out because the steering is wandering so bad. Let's add in a Add in a couple of clicks of trim. I hate to do that, but if the servo isn't able to find center, then that's what we'll have to do. And a couple of more test hits here and then switch over. We're gonna try and get a couple of runs in with our DR10, kind of see it hiding over there behind the core. Uh, it's, it's definitely something going on with the car. That's Every stab of the throttle, it's going left. And one more just for, you know, let me get away from this expansion joint here. <laughs> dead left so okay i think we're gonna end it there um overall the 10bl 120 from hobby wing seems to have solved our cogging issues and it's delivering all the power we need now we just have to do a little bit more suspension tuning the car launching straight and consistent may look at replacing that old cheap servo and uh, put something a little faster and a little more reliable in it 